It debuted on CBS tonight, a new drama with deep Chicago roots and plot lines reflecting the problems gripping our city. CBS News Vince Gerasoli traveled to the set of The Red Line, where cast and crew hope the series can spark conversations and change. It would never happen to you. Tune into The Red Line. And you'll see the story of a deadly police shooting and its impact on those connected to the white officer who pulled the trigger and the family of the innocent black man who died. I have walked over hot coals for you. Visit the CBS Drama's West Side Studios and you'll meet a cast and crew of creatives anxious to tell the story. The holiday train. For Chicago is their home. In the fabric of all of its beauty is woven in uh, profound segregation and redlining, and there really are two Chicago's. Authenticity is super important to us. Co-executive producer Erica Weiss has lived and worked in Chicago theater since her college days at DePaul. We are sort of separated and all together in Chicago, so we have shared struggles but very different experiences. With a storyline that resembles the Laquan McDonald shooting that gripped the city, Weiss hopes the red line could spark discussions that help us cope. Art and storytelling can make a difference and can open people's minds and hearts. You trouble? No. I in order to tell this story, you have to show sort of a gritty underside. Is that hard? I think that in order to love something truly, and especially a city, you have to look at its flaws. It's the wrong guy, Jim. He didn't know that. We got a lot of stuff to fix, and I think. I think the red line is going to start a, a great conversation. Actor Michael Patrick Thornton has enjoyed an international career in television and film, but still lives in Jefferson Park. A spinal stroke left him unable to walk. In the red line, he plays a wounded officer now confined to a wheelchair. I know what happens when you don't make that call. But equally as motivating as the plot for these artists is the fact that the red line employs a large number of Chicago creatives. It's a dream come true. We had a day on set where it was like three or four generations of storefront theater artistic directors and actors that, you know, I've looked up to my entire career. We have the talent pool here. We want people to see it and we want people to know that. Helping to create an authenticity in the drama that looks closely at the complexities of the place we call home. You're supposed to say something before you fire. In Chicago, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News.